We're here at the Palace of Westminster for two reasons. One is to celebrate the fantastic success of Create last year. There were so many hundreds of entries where the quality was of the highest caliber. And excitingly, we're here to launch 2013 of Create. Create Art for Autism is obviously a fantastic campaign to celebrate the skills of our young people on the autistic spectrum. Today's launch in, in the House of Parliament is all about, again, celebrating the artwork that we had last year and making awareness of the campaign this year. I'm actually thrilled to be asked to judge Create for once again. I shudder when I think of 30 years ago, we used to say that children with autism who have no creativity, can show no affection, you know, all things that are just completely wrong. We had such a successful year last year, we had over 550 entries and we really want to push this year to get over a thousand entries. This is really about getting as many children and students involved in the competition, increasing participation as much as we can and this is just a great way to kick it off. These competitions like this that thank goodness are beginning to show the other side, to show how absolutely wrong we were and the enormous amount of creativity that is in the autistic community. We want to encourage as many people as possible to enter artworks um, and you know, highlight that we're focusing on the creative talents of their work, not their autism. And it's really important that we reach out to the wider community, celebrate the skills and recognise the talents for autism. It's pity the Kate Bush and the Queen aren't here. <laughs> <laughs> I consider myself to be a champion of Beechwood College because I see for myself the huge transformation it can bring about to the quality of life for so many people. Well, Beechwood College in South Wales is really at the hub of this. The idea came from passion to sort of dispel the myths about autism, but it also includes Orbis schools, which are two schools in South Wales also delivering specialist care and education for young people. But we don't really want to attract just people from Wales. We want this to be the national competition. All too often we focus on things that our young people are not able to do, instead of celebrating the things that they can do. Catch up with any of the young artists here today, there is passion behind this work. We had entries from Sheffield, from the Isle of Wight, uh, from London Central. Um, in 2011, we had entries from Croatia and India. Uh, that's the power of CREATE. This isn't just about creativity, this is also about raising and winning support, isn't it? What I've seen today has been amazing. It's a privilege to be asked to be a judge this year. And looking back in my career of 31 years as an art educator, children that have a different uh, way of learning and needs, and making a difference through art and design. Creating artwork of any kind is not just about making a beautiful object or making an object that stirs you or a film that makes you think. It's very much too about communication. And of course that is the core problem for those with autism. It will be my privilege to highlight, create art for autism for this year. This wonderful competition not only gives them a chance to show how creative they can be and what beautiful and stirring objects they can produce, but it also gives them a way of communicating with the rest of us that may be otherwise denied to them. We want to inspire young people to get involved in the competition, to participate. We want to give them a reason to be able to express and show people what they're capable of doing.